Oh, there it is. So today is going to be a little bit different of a vlog for you guys. Cody, Noah, and I are going to go ski biking. Right now we're getting ready. We've got about 10 minutes before the resort opens. So let's take you on an adventure. We took a day off at the shop, so we're going to go ride. Yeah, this will be fun. I know you've got yours on the chest mount. I get this guy up here. Mm -hmm. So this should be a fun day. Let's head up. No one fell, especially me. Did you want to try? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, man. Oh, any new modifications? No, just having fun. All right. Here we go. The key is, is you want to get it under your feet and then you can just hold on to the seat. Yep. And you got the heavy bike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Technically I do. It's not that heavy, but no. compared to these, it's heavy. Alright, so this is your second time on the bikes. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. So, from a person's perspective who's never done anything snow related, then you hopped on a bike, how did it feel for you? Uh, pretty good actually. It's yeah. pretty easy. You do get used to. It's just kind of having the confidence to be able to whip that back around, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I almost wiped out coming down that one hill the first time, so kind of almost swung it out too far. Yeah, no, I get what you mean. I know a lot of people have asked. Um, the only way I can relate this to with snowboarding is you obviously have a lot of your control with the back leg being able to go heel and toe side. If you can do that by swinging the back end of the ski out, you should be fine. It's a really kind of a very similar concept. Obviously it's on a bike, so it's a little bit different, but the feel is the same. Feel is the same, yep. Yep. Uh, your first run, I saw I saw the light bulb click. Yeah. Halfway down the run you were turning. Like, yep. okay, he's got it. Yeah, so I know a lot of people ask. So if you can snowboard, you can ski bike. I don't really know about skiing. So <laughs> there's your answer. Alright, now let's see our dismount. I know these guys are gonna be fine. I'm more worried about me. This one actually has a ramp. You just wait till you can jump right on the pedal. Oh, oh. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, the dismount's a little funky. You gotta like kind of let the chair do most of the work, and then as soon as you're about to, you know, turn the corner, you kind of just let go and go off. Makes it a little bit easier. Also, the nice thing about ski biking, I mean. Skiing is kind of the same thing, but with snowboarding, you don't have to strap in. You can just pretty much get up and go. If you can get comfortable swinging out your back ski, I wish I could kind of show you guys more. Maybe in my shadow, you can see it. You just whip it out back and go on your edges. Do not use the handlebars to steer. They, they're bombing as you can see them. Cody's obviously whipping through. The first ones on this or on this uh on this run. And then use your edges to stop. Ugh, almost fell. Just like that. <laughs> Trying to make sure no one falls off and dies. <laughs> Thank you, that makes it easier for us. Right? Thanks guys. And grab. Just like that. Alright, GoPro still on it.
a bunch of engineers. The supervisor, yeah, he's the boss. Okay, let's try not to fall this time. What? No, I had a good one. What did he do? He uh, almost high. You almost high sided. He said you almost high sided. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. He got to slow down enough to where he like just did his low slide, but caught the edge and he like bottomed, oh. <laughs> and then he somehow kept it down instead of like launching. Yeah. So that's the thing. I'll tell you what. Like, <laughs> if I was on a regular bike, like on a run of something like that. I would have totally eaten it on some of the times, but it's like, yeah. it's weird. You're able to save it fairly yeah. easy. It's on a lot it. more forgiveness though. Yeah. yeah. It's that I was really well, what's going on everyone? Hopefully you're enjoying today's uh, ski bike episode. Uh, we've talked about a couple things with the ski bikes, kind of like the, we talked about the beginner basics and kind of like what it's like to ride one for the first time. But uh, we're gonna let Noah and Cody kind of show you what it's like to ride in a little bit of powder. I know we didn't get too much, especially here in Michigan, but uh, they're all the way up on the other side a little bit on this little hill. So let's get some footage and see how they do. Alright guys, so we basically tried to do everything that we can to get some footage. I know the GoPros don't do the best job. Hopefully, maybe we can get our hands on one of those like 360 degree cameras so we can kind of like set it up on a pole. I think that would give a little bit better of a perspective to kind of show you what we do on the ski bikes. But again, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, always giving us the support. Uh, again, it was a little bit different of an episode, but that's a really nice way that Cody can kind of decompress. It's a really kind of, it's a cool experience. So hopefully if you guys ever get the opportunity, maybe a place that you go can actually rent you a ski bike. It's really a lot of fun. So if you can, give it a shot. But again, thank you guys always for liking, watching and subscribing. And that really hurt my shoulder uh, <laughs> as you guys found out. Um, I, this is a little bit later, this is a couple days later, but uh, yeah, I actually, uh, I do have a small hairline fracture and this really hurts to do so. And uh, I'm trying to play it cool on camera. But thank you guys again for always watching, subscribing. Stay tuned. We're going to be working on the Carbon Kevlar bonnet next. So then we're, we're going to get that out and you're really going to like that. So stay tuned. See ya. Yeah,